Could you speak towards any of the human robot environments that you've been thinking about at Agility the last couple of years? Yeah, so the big one we think at Agility when you t start to think about people having robots work in their environment and how we make those human centric, a big part of what people want to know is what the, the robot's doing. Is it doing what it's mm, supposed to do? Okay. What is it gonna do next? Just to make them feel comfortable. Like mm -hmm. we uh, like to know what's going to happen. So using some of those things that we're used to with humans makes it more predictable. So for instance, with the head, if we cast the eyes in the direction that the robot is going to move, mm -hmm. if we shift the torso to, to give a kind of a precursor, I am going mm -hmm. that way, mm -hmm. um, it helps people to feel more like they know what the robot is gonna do next, it's, then its movements don't seem so surprising or worrying yeah. when they happen. One of the things that's really surprised me in the you know, two odd decades that I've been doing this stuff is how much um, human communication is nonverbal and, and how rich it can be to look at spaces of nonverbal behaviors, like the example you gave before about gazing before doing something, or uh, in, in terms of helping that, that interaction between people and robots be smooth, because we, there's so much that we can parse at once in groups of people, and, but there's only so many people we can have a live conversation with.